Hey guys, so I'll show you three ways to make vocal chops both in FL and Ableton. You guys been asking for this, so let's get it. And no, I don't have five lollies locked in my basement, don't FBI, open up! The first way to do it is to open SliceX and drag any sort of acapella into it. Now I've downloaded a lot of Taylor Swift studio acapellas, but you can use anything like Kara vocal samples. So link it to a mixer, add an autotune, turn down the retune beat, select the scale you want, now here I'm going to select medium auto slicing. I'm going to go to piano roll and I'm going to delete all these notes. Now we'll just make a melody. And because we have the auto tune, we can use the fine pitch to just mess around until we get a melody we like. And it will be in the scale that we want it to be. And yeah, that's pretty much the first way to make vocal chops. You can have some camo crusher, some OTT, EQ it, get some reverb, and you can make something like this. You can also do this in Ableton. Just load up a uh, simpler and select the acapella. Now go from classic to slice. And in the warp mode, go to complex. Get an auto tune and select the scale you want. Now you can just draw some notes. And you can change the pitch by going to the MIDI envelopes. Go to MIDI control and pitch bend. And I'm not particularly a fan of this because uh, it's not as easy to control as in FL. As you can hear, the results are quite trash. So I don't really like this method in Ableton. What I like to do in Ableton instead is to take a Kara vocal sample pack or any vocal sample. And then just chop it up. It's really nice to do this in Ableton because each part of the vocal is its own unique sample. So it's not like in FL where you have to make everything unique in order to change the pitch. That's something I really like to do in Ableton. I added like a shit ton of effects like Camel Crusher, EQ, OTT, Saturation, another Saturator, uh, Imager, some Reverb, another EQ and uh, a limiter and you can get really nice results with this method now you could try to do this as well in fl but it's just really annoying because you have to uh, make each vocal chop part unique because otherwise the pitch gets changed on all the samples so yeah fl and ableton have their ups and downs in this one I personally prefer doing the SliceX method in FL and then the uh, chopping method in Ableton. Now the third method works in pretty much both FL and Ableton. What you gotta do is just get a vocal one shot. In FL I'm gonna make this unique and I'll just drag it into a sampler. Make sure it's Stretch Pro as the stretching mode. And you can also mess with the envelope here. Make a melody and you can get like a vocal lead. You can do the same thing in Ableton. Just consolidate a one shot and get a simpler. Then just drag it into the simpler. Yeah, make the warp mode complex. Make it one shot. Maybe have a little fade out, fade in. Now just draw some notes. You can also decide where you want the sample to start. Add some OTT and uh, EQ. Probably some Camo Crusher too. Find some reverb. And yeah, that's three ways to do vocal chops. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you want next. Big thanks to the Patreons who support me uh, during May. I really appreciate it. You know, just like the fact that you would provide financial aid for the art that I make is, you know, really valuable to me. So thank you very much. I'm going to drop something interesting in June. So see you guys then.